neurovascular center is really a dream uh, for both institutions. Uh, we, uh, the Sims Murphy Clinic and the Methodist University Brain and Spine Institute want to bring to our patients uh, world-class treatments. And for endovascular treatments within the Mid-South, which is really one of the, the biggest spots in the United States for both stroke and cerebral aneurysms, we've really not had that to date. With the Neurovascular Center, we see uh, cutting edge technology applied uh, to treatments of these pathologies. Uh, the Sims Murphy Clinic, the Methodist University Brain and Spine Institute, through the Neurovascular Center, we're able to see the most modern technology applied to everyday patient care. And for that, I think both institutions benefit. The Methodist University Hospital Brain and Spine Institute is a center for the treatment of patients with neurovascular problems from all over the Mid-South. Siemens Healthcare is a company that makes equipment to image uh, the brain and some of the best equipment that's available on the market. These two organizations have joined forces uh, to build a center where we have some of the most cutting edge technology to use to help these patients. We have two suites at Methodist University Hospital that are new. Uh, both are large and have uh, advanced air handling capability uh, that enhances their ability to be used as a sterile operating room. Um, one is a traditional biplane uh, neurosystem uh, where we have uh, the two planes uh, that you are used to seeing in a, in, a, in a neuroangio lab. The second is a newer piece of equipment uh, called the Siemens Zego unit and this is a single plane unit uh, but it has uh, movement capabilities and, and uh, visualization capabilities that make it very useful for hybrid neurovascular procedures as well as traditional uh, neuroangiographic procedures. In an endovascular environment, one of the first things that surgeons have to learn is that you're not able to manipulate the anatomy or see it in true three dimensions. The better uh, imaging uh, capabilities of the new Siemens systems uh, provide higher resolution and a wider variety of treatment angles so that you will better be able to evaluate that three-dimensional anatomy during the endovascular treatment of a lesion such as an aneurysm or an AVM. And really, the rapid improvements in that imaging uh, is one of the two ways that those procedures are getting safer and, and uh, are, are being used to treat more patients uh, as time goes forward. As medical director of the Methodist Brain and Spine Institute, it has been very important for us to be at the forefront of technology. The Neurovascular Center is just that. The Methodist Hospital has been behind us uh, all of the way in supporting our ventures uh, in perfecting and improving upon patient care. This foray into the endovascular world is uh, yet another example of the Methodist Hospital doing just that. With the endovascular suite, we are able to offer the best, most cutting edge technology to patients that have cerebrovascular pathologies. In addition to the clinical goals of getting more patients better outcomes from stroke and devastating neurologic problems, there are two other ways this partnership will function. The first is we're going to be doing research and training young doctors from all over the world on how we can use advanced imaging technology to help sick patients. And we're moving out of an era where the imaging is done separately in an outpatient environment and surgery is done without imaging into an area of image guided surgery where high technology imaging is employed during the procedure to save or help the patient. The second is that Methodist University Hospital will function as an international show site where Siemens will bring their customers from other centers to see the kind of work we're doing here as other centers strive to build their own ability to do this kind of work. Our hope is that the Neurovascular Center will serve as a model program and will serve as a benchmark for institutions, endovascular institutions, for years to come.